Hello friends, in this video, let us discuss about the performance of transmission lines. So, the overhead transmission lines can be categorized into three types. So, they can be categorized into three types. So, one is a short distance transmission line and other one is a medium distance transmission line and the third type is a long distance transmission line. So, one is a short distance transmission line medium distance transmission line, long distance transmission line. Now, the short distance transmission line is that line whose length is up to 60 km and the voltage level is comparatively, comparatively low that is uh, below 20 kV. So, the voltage level is below 20 kV and the line length is 60 km for the short distance transmission line. And the medium distance transmission line are those line, those lines whose distance or whose line length is in between 60 km to 160 km and the voltage level of the medium distance, distance transmission line is above 20 kV or you can say it is better to say 20 kV to 100 kV. Now, the long distance transmission line are those lines whose line length is greater than 160 km and the voltage level will also be greater than the 100 kV. So, the overhead transmission lines can be categorized into three types. One is the short transmission line, medium transmission line, long transmission line. The short transmission line, the line length is 60 km and the voltage level is below below 20 kV for the medium transmission line the line length is 60 km to 160 km and the voltage level is 20 kV to 100 kV and it is greater than 160 km line length and greater than 100 kV is the voltage level. In some books it is written uh, short distance transmission line length is 80 km and this is 80 to 250 km and this is greater than 250 km. So, now, like any other electrical system, the transmission line will also have some power losses. So, the transmission line will also have some power losses and voltage drop across the line when transmitting the power from the sending end to receiving end. So, when transmitting the power from the sending end to receiving end, it has some line losses as well as the power losses. So, the efficiency or you can say the performance of the transmission line can be decided from the efficiency of the transmission line as well as the voltage regulation. So, based on these two factors, we can define the performance of any transmission line. So, the efficiency of a transmission line can be given by the efficiency of any transmission line can be given by the power delivered at the receiving end, the power delivered at the receiving end to the power sent from the receiving end or that is the power sent from the sending end. So, sending end into 100 this gives you efficiency. Efficiency of any transmission line is the ratio of power delivered at the receiving end to the power sent from the sending end. This is the efficiency of any transmission line. Whereas the voltage regulation is a measure of change in the receiving end voltage from no load condition to full load condition. So, this is no load receiving end, no load receiving end voltage minus full load receiving end voltage upon full load receiving end voltage, full load receiving end voltage into 100. This gives you the voltage regulation of any transmission line and the performance of any transmission line can be decided on these two factors. One is the efficiency and the voltage regulation. So, as the transmission line is a set of conductors which are which carries the power from one place to another place and where the conductors are supported to transmission towers. So, such transmission lines will have three basic parameters. So, the first one is the electrical 
the three basic parameters of the transmission line are electrical resistance, inductance and the electrical resistance, inductance and the capacitance. So these are the three basic parameters uniformly distributed along the line. These are the three parameters uniformly distributed along the line. So let us now find the wavelength of the power that is transmitted from one end to the other end. So I know the power can be transmitted over the transmission line with the speed of light that is the speed of light is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. So we can transfer our power over a transmission line with the speed of light that is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. I know the frequency of the power, frequency of power is equal to 50 hertz. Now from the formula I am having c is equal to mu lambda, c is the velocity of the power being transmitted, mu, mu is the frequency of power, lambda is the wavelength of voltage and current level of the power. So from here I am having the velocity as 3 into 10 to the power of 8 upon the frequency is 50, this is my wavelength of the power. So this will be equal to 6 into 10 to the power of 6 meters that is nothing but 6000 kilometers. So if I draw the distribution voltage distribution, so this is at 3000 kilometer and this is at 6000 kilometer. This is the voltage distribution at 50 hertz. So we can see from here the wavelength of the power is quite long compared to the normal line unit we are generally using. So for this reason the line length below 160 k below 160 kilometer. So for the line length for the transmission line length of below 160 kilometer these parameters are assumed to be lumped. So they are considered to be lumped together rather than distributed. So for the line length of below 160 kilometer these electrical resistance, inductance and capacitance are considered to be lumped together but not distributed. Lumped together means that they are combined or you can say they are placed together that is the meaning of lumped together but not distributed and hence for this reason these uh, lines below which are such lines below 160 kilometer are referred as the electrically short transmission lines, electrically short transmission lines and these electrically short transmission lines can be categorized into the short distance transmission line and the medium distance transmission line where we have seen short distance is uh, up to 60 kilometer and the medium distance is from 60 to 160 kilometer. The parameters are assumed to be lumped together and uh, for the line length of greater than 160 kilometer, these parameters are assumed to be distributed. So XL, XC and R are distributed and such lines are referred as the long transmission lines. So in the short distance transmission line, the capacitor parameter is neglected. The capacitor parameter is neglected and this is the reason we do not see the Ferranti effect in the short distance transmission line. And in the medium distance transmission line, the capacitor is lumped at the middle of the transmission line. So this is here, here you are having the resistance, this is your inductance of the line and it can be lumped at the middle of the line making it the T transmission line or it can be the half of the capacitance, each half can be placed at the ends of the distribution line making it a pi configuration. So this is how you place the capacitance in the medium distance transmission line. So you can place it in the middle or you can place half half at the ends of the transmission line. So this is all about the performance of the transmission lines in power system. I hope you understood well. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.